today I am going to share with you what I find to be the most user-friendly planner for stay-at-home moms. P.S. I'm sure you can tell by the title. It's a happy planner haul. If you are interested in seeing my huge happy planner haul and seeing how I plan on using these planners and accessories, keep on watching. <laughs> share with you guys tons of sticker books tons of accessories um, but let's start with the basics first and let me show you the two planners that I picked up uh, from the happy planner and how I am going to be using them um, so I mentioned to you guys in my first video I am someone who enjoys using multiple planners um, I just get too stressed out trying to put everything into one planner I kind of like to divide and conquer put my separate tasks or my separate responsibilities into one planner and then kind of like combine them into one catch-all in terms of duties slash tasks for the day. All right, so let's look, take a look at the planners that I picked out. Um, first things first, both, both of the planners that I picked up um, are actually undated, which is also another little pro tip for any of you that are just starting out. Because planning can be a little bit intimidating. It's a lot between the sticker books, the accessories, the washi tape, um, the different planners. There's so many different planners out there. So I have some undated planners. Undated planners are good because they leave for more flexibility, especially in the beginning while you're still trying to kind of get into your groove and figure out what works best for you. So let's actually take a look at these planners. So the first planner I have here, um, it was part of their um, Disney line. So she says, magic begins with um, She's undated, which we mentioned. And then when you open her up, we have some of the month, uh, some month stickers in there for you. And I'm not gonna go through, I'm not gonna give you a whole walkthrough of what the entire planner looks like. Um, you know, if you're interested in purchasing this planner or you know, any of their planners, obviously you can check them out at happyplanner.com. Um, so um, she, it's totally cute though and totally worth checking out, especially if you are into um, Disney princesses. Just to give you a look, we open right up into the month and then we have a dashboard layout. What I like about the dashboard layout too is see here, even though it says on here, errands to buy, calls, emails, I mean with the stickers, accessories, washi tape, it's very easy to kind of switch these things out and make these boxes make everything work for you and what you need. That's another reason why I really enjoy um, the Happy Planner, especially for any of you that are like more creative out there because your girl is not the most creative person in the world, but I can definitely see why if you're creative, these are even better for you because you can actually obviously take the discs in or out, um, you can switch the tabs up, I mean you can put new pages in there, there's so many different things that you can do. So that's the basic layout. Um, for this planner and then let me show you really quick the other planner I purchased this is one of their um, I believe they're called minis right mini planner if you're a happy planner person and you're watching this um, feel free to correct me in the comments but I think it's called their mini planner this is part of their business series and so again since she's undated we've got the cute little month stickers then we open up to you know, it starts with the month and then you have your vertical Right? Vertical. Yes, up down is vertical. Then you have your vertical um, layout and it goes like that all the way through. So quick little note. Now this is, remember we were just talking about why it's good sometimes to have undated, um, why it's good sometimes to have undated planner. So let's review really quickly some of the things that I told you I wanted to have a planner for. I wanted to have um, a planner for budgeting, planner for my online boutique, a planner for my online teaching, a planner for my, um, hello what we're doing right now YouTube slash social media mostly YouTube and then like a catch-all for everything for like your daily tasks so right now I'm actually waiting um, on two planners from another company they're like a smaller company and they're a little bit behind but I'm so excited to get I can't wait to show you guys that planner but uh, those planners when they come in so stay tuned for that but um, in the meantime is that the two planners that I'm ordering from this other company um, one is I'm planning on being my catch-all and the other one is a budget planner so obviously I plan on using that for my budget um, but also you know we're almost at, we're in the middle of February so I can't like not be planning in the meantime so I think what I'm gonna do in the meantime is going to use um, that's why I love this dashboard layout because I think I'm going to use this one as my um, you know the classic I'll use it as kind of my catch-all slash social media planner and then I was originally planning on using this for my online boutique, but I'm going to 
I'm going to have a real conversation with you for a second. Something else that um, something else that you need to realize, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or work-from-home mom, a work, work working mom, um, you can only do so much. And like for me, I mean, for me, I've been going through. I'm sure, like most of us, I've been going through a lot this past year. I've been going through like depression, anxiety. I've just been in like this big, major funk. So I've been starting to slowly come out of it. Oh. Was that like this the whole time? Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh. One tip that I want to give you guys that is super important is that it's great to have expectations, but you need to have realistic expectations. You need to have realistic expectations so that you're not setting yourself up for failure and disappointment. And I know that sounds harsh to say, but at the end of the day, can I at some point do all of those things? Can I do my online boutique and my online ESL teaching and my YouTube channel and grow my Instagram? Sure, maybe, but am I going to be able to do all of those things successfully at one time? Um, no. So it's time to get real with yourself and start knocking a couple of, put a couple of things on the back burner and put the things at the forefront that you're really most passionate about. That's part of why nothing was ever getting done. Um, it's great to have a planning system, but it's, you have to be realistic about what you're attempting to accomplish also. So Mama has decided that I am going to put those things to the back burner and so instead of using this for my online boutique, I am going to right now use this for my um, online teaching because right now that is where the bulk of my supplementary income comes from. So I'm going to use this for online teaching and then we will use our classic, we'll start using that for social media slash catch. Slash catch Okay, so next up I want to share with you guys some of the accessories that I picked up. This haul is from two different um, orders, from the winter release and then um, some of the stuff is from, they had a big like 70% off sale. So I want to show you really quickly just a couple of accessories that I also picked up that will be useful for your planners as well. Um, first off, okay, so this is kind of a fail only because um, this is... <laughs> These are inserts for the large happy planner and I didn't get any large happy planner, I didn't get a large happy planner, but they're inserts nonetheless that you can use in the future or you can use them in other books, um, but it just has like a daily schedule here, Monday through Sunday, um, then on the back you can see they have like a list for top priorities. These are great um, to just kind of like insert in planners that you already have existing or sometimes like for me on the weekend, sometimes I just like to write like a, a real quick lit like to do list. I also just got the, I forgot what they were called because um, they came in like a package together. I'll have to look and then if I, if they still have it, I'll write down below like what it was called so that you can look it up for yourself. Um, but they came with these little dividers for the classic um, planner and then some kind of, some functional stickers which these are great for starting out too. I One of my pro tips too in starting out with planning, especially once I show you the sticker hauls, there are so many stickers and it can be super overwhelming to start planning, especially if you start looking at YouTube and you see some of these massive, amazing spreads that some of these women have. Um, I would suggest starting basic, like start with your more functional stickers um, as opposed to your super um, creative, color, uh, colorful, design stickers, if that makes sense. Because once you really start figuring out how to use your planner and what works best for you, then I think you can, then it'll be easier for you to start making those little, those pretty spreads that we all love so much. Also got this thing of sticky notes. These are great too. I am like a brain dump person. I'm somebody who just like, all of a sudden I have an idea and if I don't write it down, it disappears and I forget about it until like months later. So these are great too. I think I might just keep a bunch of them on my desk or in like a little um, basket on my desk so that when I do have little things to jot down, I quickly put them on here and then just stick them in my um, planner. And these were just some basic meal planning um, stickers as well. I have a, a, I have a fun little Dollar Tree um, DIY that's going to be coming up for uh, my meal planner that I will be using these in because the girl still likes the Dollar Tree. Okay, and lastly, if I sound like I'm talking fast, little munchkin is waking up, so I've got to get this going. There's the sticker haul of all sticker hauls. We'll share a little bit of a kind of flip through as I'm yapping, but I'm not going to do a full-on flip through. <laughs>
Okay, so as you may have guessed, the little munchkin has woken up, hence why you're getting the rest of this video <laughs> via um, voiceover. So I'm going to end here and let you guys just kind of look. Um, I'm going to end here with like a little flip through of some of the sticker books that I got. And I will leave anything that is still available on the Happy Planner website um, linked below in my description box. Um, on a side note, I wanted to let you guys know that I actually did my first monthly spread. And she's not fabulous but she's she's not bad and i'm pretty proud of her so um if you're not following me on my instagram be sure to check out lippy housewife because i that is where i will post her catch you guys on the next one